Hi, I'm uh, Grant Connor here with Mike Miller, uh, president of the 16 to 1 mine, and we're just doing a little experiment today showing you uh, how we detect whether the gold is wired in a specimen. Now, uh, this is very important to the actual value of, of the piece, um, and whoever's going to buy it um, might want to know this so that um, they could do whatever they want with the piece. If they want to end up sculpting it, they could etch it, and they could follow the, the vein and actually make it into a, an entire crystalline piece if they wanted. Uh, now crystalline gold, as we know, could be three to five times market value, and we've seen it up to 10 times the gold market value. Now, on this piece right here, you can see Mike's gonna touch a piece of gold out here. Well, let's see what we happen. And let's see what happens, Grant. I'm gonna first of all just go around here to show that we're on quartz and gold, and no, nothing's happening. Yeah. Now, let's just move to let's move to here, and so that piece is a little bit isolated right there. Mm -hmm. This nothing, nothing. But let's go like this. Whoops! Look at that. Almost every place we touch now is going to show that this is all connected. But let's go back to this, nothing. So that little chunk right there, while it's beautiful and it adds value to the specimen, um, someone, if they were etching this out, they'd want to keep as much quartz around here as possible and not lose that piece. Let's see about this one. That's isolated. So. That's, that is too. Mm -hmm. No worries down here, no worries up here, no worries over here and anywhere. Wonder about yeah, this even this little corner right in here is all wired together. That's, yeah. And then we're spinning it around over here. Let's test out a piece like this. Yeah, this one's gonna be different. It's very heavy, but I have no idea. I didn't this will be a new one. I have no idea about this one, but this is unique for other reasons. Just look at that in the light. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Whoop, okay. I'll be darn. Hmm. Aha. Oh. And Mike, this would be because the gold, um, the electron is actually passing from one strand of gold all the way to the other. Yes, it's, it's just like a wire, copper wire. This is just a golden wire, and gold is very uh, conducive for electrical transfers. Aha, do we have, no, I'll be darned. I'm surprised. There's, there, now that's on the gold there. Oh, yeah. The, one of the most interesting things about this load gold and a term that we call wired, is it wired up? And that means something special for us. So this is just a, a regular uh, 12 volt tester. And as you can see, when the light comes on, that means where I'm touching the gold here, there's continuous gold contact all the way to here. Now watch this just for a minute. We're just gonna roam around here. Way down there on the bottom even. So this, this piece is very, very well wired. I haven't hit any that it is not. But let's look at this a minute. See that little tiny piece right there? That piece right there? Well, watch what happens. I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna go over here. You don't see a light come on. That's because this little piece right here is not connected to any other parts of gold. However, let's look a little bit below it. Like right down, I'll keep this one right where it was. right there. So even right down just a little bit farther away. Can you see where this hand is? See? Okay, there. Now I'm going to go up to here. So this piece is not connected, whereas right even down, where was it? Right here? That means that gold is continuously wrapped up to, uh, and that's what we call wire gold. And we're going to be able to go any place in here, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually surprised we didn't, we even found one. Well, let's look at this little piece. Maybe there's something here that's not wired. 
Oh, that's wired. Oop. So what this means is if um, whoever, whoever ends up, whoever owns this piece of, of uh, 16 to 1 specimen, they can make the decision on how to, how to address it, how to clean it up. For example, see right this piece right here? You see that where that little piece is sitting right up there? With the right tool, you could just get in there and flick that right off. That'll expose a little more gold and someone may want to do that. However, someone else may want to keep that piece because it's kind of a pretty piece of quartz. Or you could come right over into this section and let's see what we have here. We have, is this where we don't have the little piece? Oh, there we do. You know, you could work on this part right in here and, and remove some of this quartz. But the main thing, we know that, we know that this piece is not connected. That little piece right there, this piece. That's because I'm touching both of them. But now I'll go over here, any place on here. So it's not, it's just an isolated piece. This was all encased in quartz. And when the miners came in, they had, they showed have a photograph of it, of just a little speck of it that you could see uh, after they chipped away. So they had to drill and use very low, low, uh, uh, low value explosives we'll say and then knock this out and this is just the way it broke out it fell it fell down onto the floor of the mine way back in the uh, north part of the mine uh, below the thousand level and uh, the miner went right over and picked it up and held it so that's why we named it the hand of Dan mm -hmm. but um, we have done nothing to it 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 could someone could keep it like this or they could start um, maybe selectively removing some of the quartz in here. But the main thing that this is, little experiment is showing is that the gold that's here is what connects to the gold that's here. Mm -hmm.